Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of our tutorials. My name is Enrique and I'm one of the BMW geniuses here at Weatherford BMW. Today I'm going to be talking about screen mirroring, uh, which is an option for you with iDrive 7. This is going to allow you to do things like watch Netflix, watch YouTube videos, all while enjoying that big screen that you got on your new car. Screen mirroring is going to be able to show your phone screen content on your iDrive display exactly as is. This is going to be an option for you if you're an Android user, specifically on the higher end of their phone scales. It's also important to note that you can only screen mirror if the car is in park. Alright you guys, so to set up screen mirroring we need to go into the communication section of the car. We would select mobile devices. You want to tap over here to the right and get to new device. Once you do that, you'll notice there's an option for screen mirroring. This is what you want to select. So now that we've done that, we need to go into our phone. And if I just slide down on the taskbar here, we need to turn on the smart view option. This is what's going to let us do the screen mirror. You notice it finds BMW. We tap there. We're going to tap allow connection right at the top here. Give it a moment to connect. And it looks like we are connected now. There we go. If you notice now, it's going to show my phone on the screen exactly as is. You will not be able to control it from the screen, it's all on your phone. So for example, if I open up the YouTube app, do you'll notice now when I play a video, it's gonna be exactly like it is, and it won't turn landscape until I press it here on my phone. Your iDrive system will then actively begin to look for a parking spot. You can also use Google Maps, and the actual map will display up here, but you will need to open it up from your phone. Once you do that, you'll notice the map comes up here and then to turn it once again you'll need to turn your phone and then you've got a little bit of a wider screen now so it's important to note that if you're navigating somewhere and you're keeping this on you cannot turn your phone off because if you do it's going to turn it off up there as well all right you guys so that's going to wrap it up for this video if you have any questions at all please leave a comment and we'll get back to you right away stay tuned for more genius tutorials coming soon